Good morning, I'm Ken Tse and welcome to Dragon Track. It's 7.26, I spent last night at Garfield Ridge campsite <clears throat> in the shelter on the way there. There were a lot of people who wanted to pass me and I became a little too competitive for, for my taste. I'd been hiking all day, my tent was soaking wet and I really needed a, a spot in the shelter. So I did everything I could to make sure they couldn't pass me until I was too exhausted to do anything about it. And, and then a bunch of uh, boys and their leader passed me. And when they made the wrong turn uh, and uh, I and we started going downhill again, my competitive competitiveness returned and I tried to be in their way and that that is not me that's not how I've been hiking but I really needed a spot in the shelter and as it turned out none of those boys were going to the shelter they were tempting it was all good last night at the shelter I talked to the Falcons I had a good time it was also a youth group from the religion I'm a member of uh, there and I talked to some of their leaders. Today <clears throat> it's just going to be five miles to the next shelter. Of course to get there I uh, need to climb the mountain. I don't remember which one but it, the, the elevation change is more than 1100 feet in a mile. So it's going to be steep. If we follow the water source back up that way between the trees we get to the water source we used at the shelter last night and if we follow the water source to the right that's Appalachian Trail. This is insane! This is insane! It's 8.40 I've taken my socks off and my lower pant legs uh, I opted to stay, still wear my shoes instead of uh, the camp shoes. Uh, hopefully that will give me more traction even uh, under these circumstances. I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, and it's steep downhill too. Rock scrambling downhill with uh, water all about your feet was not something I enjoyed doing. Not only do you have to find the best way to rock scramble downhill, you also need to make sure that you don't get wet doing it. So it's the difficulty doubled. And when I say wet, I don't mean my feet. My feet got wet. It's the rest of me. I didn't want to get wet. And some of the drops were substantial. And you had to get creative to get down without resorting to getting wet. It's been more rock scrambling downhill. And then there was mud and uh, far out isn't updating, so I'm at least 0.4 miles behind, or, or rather the far out indicator is at least 0.4 miles wrong. It's over 4.4 miles wrong. Uh, it hasn't updated and that's a bummer. It's been more rock scrambling, I just, <sighs> had to drop a foot or two because there were no, uh, I couldn't find a place to put my foot to, to actually step down. So I had to make a drop. And that was one of the things I said I would never do before I started hiking the Appalachian Trail. Well, there you go. Gale River Trail, that's not where I'm going. That's down there. The Appalachian Trail continues that way, first to the hut and then on up over the mountain and to the shelter. The trail has been a lot of rocks, 
lot of ups, a lot of downs. It's been wet and mud. It's been really slow going today. Uh, so far, maybe mild, maybe takes me two hours right now. Staying in a hut tonight. This is the dining room area. View from the hut. Hi, this is Ed in Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.